There recently been a new feature released by Notion, and this feature is about an integration or a native sync between Jira and Notion. This sync is one way, so it goes from Jira to Notion, and you can basically sync your Jira databases and boards into Notion. And this is particularly powerful because you might manage your issues specifically in Jira, but at the same time, you might use Notion for the more high level stuff, which Notion is better at, and then you can sync those two databases, although coming from different apps in the same place. And so today I want to show you how that could look like by syncing a Jira board that I have right here into a Notion page. This is a sample Jira project that I have, and it's broken down into a couple of tasks that you can see here on the board to do in progress and done. These are some tasks for publishing a video on YouTube. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the URL of this board on the browser. And then in Notion, I have a page here and I'm going to paste the URL right here. And then I have a couple of options here. I can paste as a preview, as a mention that looks like that, as a link that looks like that, or I can paste as database. And that's the new feature right here. This feature creates a new database in Notion natively, but that database is synced with the Jira board. So I'm going to choose paste as database. The main thing that we're going to notice here is that although this is a Notion database, it looks a bit different from the usual databases in Notion. And that's a new feature, so it might be still in development. And that's why there are still um, some sort of restrictions in how we can use it. And this database is quite static on the Notion side of things because it is meant to be updated in Jira. And then those updates are synced in Notion. So you can see that's a database here and columns can be resized very well, that's okay. Let's open it in full page. So here I have all the tasks for the project on that sort of right. Here is the key, and this puts the tasks in the correct order. And here we have a relation for the type. So this was automatically created by Notion and the type in Jira can be a task, epic or subtask. And here you can see that I have some tasks, but I also have some subtasks for those tasks. And each task and subtask is numbered so that they can also be reordered. So if I open a page, let's look at the properties that we have. This actual end date, actual start, a couple of properties that are empty. And so let's say I wanted to delete this one, fixed versions. But you can see that I actually can't delete it. So if I go to customize page, here I can choose what properties are shown and whatnot, but I can't really delete properties. I can only have the properties shown. And you can see that this page doesn't have a body, but only properties up here and some properties are filled out according to what I have in Jira. So we have the status here, and then there is the reporter, that's a relation property created in Notion as well, but if I click on it, it will open the Jira person profile right there. Now, let's look at the way this board syncs. So we have the board here, you can see I have some tasks in to do, other tasks in, in progress. Now let's go to Jira, and let's say that this task is actually done, write the script for the video. So I'm gonna move it to done, Let's go to Jira and see how fast this sync can happen. You see that in progress, it doesn't show anything right now. So that might mean that the sync is happening in the background. Let's look at the table. And I can see that the status was automatically updated here. Write the script for the video, that's done. Let's look at the board once again. And I see that the done column was created indeed with the task moved right here. So if I tried to move the task here in Notion, that is not possible because at least for now, the sync is one way from Jira to Notion, so I can't move things around. I can just use this Notion board to visualize the content from the Jira board that I have. And here you can hide columns as well. The implementation of this new feature might be particularly useful if you have the high level project in Notion, whereas for the issues, the specific tasks that you need to complete, if you want to manage them in Jira, but in Notion you have the high level stuff, then this is where this new sync feature can be very powerful because here you could create a new database property and you see that the properties that you can create are limited for now you can only create advanced properties so formulae relations and what can be powerful in this feature is that you can relate it to an existing database that you have say for projects or maybe clients so that in notion you can manage the high level stuff which notion is best at while in jira you can still focus on your granular task management so that maybe your engineering team can work in Jira and you can see all the updates reflected in Notion and you can also step back and look at the big picture from the client perspective or from the overall product perspective which can be powerful because now you're not stuck within the Notion environment to manage your tasks 
if you want to have a more granular permission levels and a more granular description of all the tasks, which Jira excels at, then you can focus on the strategic level in Notion. And in Jira, the daily work happens, and then you will see those updates reflected in Notion and the progress as well. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.